morning and welcome to Palm Bank Farms. The rain's holding off, so well, it's one of those days where it's a bonus day. Um, it was supposed to rain today and the rain keeps getting pushed back and now I don't even know if it's gonna rain today. So we'll get done what we can and we'll see how long we can go. Well, we are back at it again this morning, spreading fertilizer. And then when we're done spreading fertilizer, we'll be planting peas and oats in these 35 acres. So I'm just stepping out for a second here to make sure everything's working all right. Looks like it's coming out as it should. Looks good. Sometimes you just gotta step out and make sure everything's working okay. I'm seeing a few dribbles of uh, precipitation on the windshield. We're almost done, so it shouldn't be a problem for finishing this. We'll see if it adds up to anything or not, or if we can start planting then. Time will tell. Okay, Dad's gonna start disking here in this field that we're putting sorghum in. Uh, get the manure work in. So just tucking on the trailer, I gotta put some peas and oats on there to take to the field then. So almost got the seed drill full now. The reason we're using the seed drill instead of the air seeder is in the air seeder we do not have a, any way to put grass seed on yet. So we're using this and we're not putting grass seed on but we are putting red clover down as per the landlord's request. So that's why we're using the seed drill. Okay, I got the trailer ready to go anytime. Then when I need it, Dad can bring it. And we're ready to go plant. It's so warm and uh, sticky today. Just, it's just a little bit miserable, but some people handle it better than other people. So I was in a bit of a rush here because they say the rain's rolling in but I had to just make a quick pit stop here and I had two discs here that weren't going around but as you can see they're both going around now they uh, must have hit some big stones and bent a bit so they were wedging um, oh I had to take these pieces out there's in between the discs and they were rubbing against pretty hard. So I took them out, we'll just run without them for now. Okay, got this field done. The clouds are starting to look uh, like it uh, could rain here sometimes, so. But we'll keep going until it does. Gotta fill up the uh, seed drill right now. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, we're getting down there. A little empty than I'd like to see there, but the rest of them are not too bad. Okay, I just quit seeding. I gotta get these seeds indoors ASAP. Uh, it's not raining too much yet. As long as it doesn't get worse than this, we'll get them in in time. But I'm gonna get Emily to bring me back then. I think I can seed a little longer. The ground's so dry that it absorbs a lot before you have to stop seeding, but it is raining pretty good too, so we'll see. The uh, seeds in the tote should be fine because they got uh, pretty thick 
um, canvas over of them. So if we get them home in short order, we should be fine. I think all the rain we can get though, it's just absolutely gorgeous for the all the crops that are in the ground. We were we didn't have rain for about a week, and believe it or not, it's starting to get dry. But man, I should have left sooner. Okay, well they're under roof now. Um, I guess I'll have to put the seed drill in the coverall maybe when I bring it back then because this is not full, but it's just awkward. So Emily just brought me back to get the seed drill. And as wet as it looks, the ground's not too wet yet. We're gonna seed until it is too wet. But by the time I get it emptied out, I'm guessing it'll be too wet to keep going. Wow, it got dark all of a sudden. Only like 6.30, so. I think we're uh, in for a storm here soon, but. I don't know, we keep going until we can, right? I got a little guy sleeping here. Oh, that doesn't look comfy at all, but he's sleeping tight, so we'll leave him, I think. Well, there's my cue. It's downpouring. This is gonna be just perfect for the crops. A little bit of mud, not too bad. Well, I guess that's it, that's all for the night. Park the seed drill in the coverall, and tomorrow we'll be able to work on some rainy day projects. So we got a little bit of rain again this morning, but then we're blessed with some sunshine, and I'm on my way to seed now. It's uh, midday, it's around noon, and I think it's gonna be dry enough, so we're gonna get seeded here finished probably, unless it rains again, but I doubt it will for a while, so. We're gonna get that done and then we're gonna get everything packed and then we're down to our last 20 acres and we are planting sorghum Sudan grass into there. Just filling the drill for the last time, hopefully. Clyde is helping. Ask him if he wanted to play in the dirt with the scoop and he got kind of upset because he wants to help. So he's helping. Okay, we are all done this field now, 15 acres and then 20 acres in the other fields. So, gonna go home, grab a bite to eat, come back, and pack. A bite to eat. Okay, just got the land roller hooked on. We're gonna head out, we got about 40 acres to land roll here before we start seeding our sort of Sudan grass, which that is in that field disking right now. But first, we gotta fuel up. Well, oh, there's Garrett Deskin, but we're off to do another field. Turned into a gorgeous day, who would have known? Okay, we just got out to the field. No hydro lines, so we're good. Something you always gotta check for. One field done. Three to go. Guys, getting dark again. We are still packing here. Um, an interesting thing um, that people might be interested in and probably judge a little bit is we don't use any crop insurance. And we've been up here for 10 years so far and there's been the odd time where we should have had it. But if you look at over the course of 10 years how much you would use it versus not. I think you, for us personally, you are as far ahead, if not maybe a bit further, not using it. Um, and we have so many different crops in the ground that we've never really took a huge loss. I mean, I can think of one year we got started renting a farm and we put corn in late and we didn't have the field worked up properly and the corn emergence was just brutal and I think we got like two ton an acre of corn. It was just absolutely 
brutal. But that was only that was only like 35 acres, so I can see that all could change very well if you should be farming 10 to 20,000 acres or something to just um, and you're doing like maybe three crops or something, then there's just too big of a um, too big of a risk not doing it. I can definitely see there's a place for it, just for our situation and how many different crops we farm between hay and soybeans and corn and wheat and um, you know our green feed. There's just there's so many different crops and. You know how weather is, um, it'll affect one thing more than another thing, so just folded up the packer. We're gonna head to the last field now and should be able to start planting our sorghum today. We're starting to get rain. I'm gonna just uh, back the seed drill and the cover all and fill it up anyway and see if it amounts to anything. If it does, then so be it. And if not, either way, I can have the seed drill ready to go. Okay, I am quitting for the night here. Um, the sorghum Sudan grass needs to be on a lower gear, so it obviously goes on slower because it's such a small seed. And the grass seed would also go on that lower gear then, and I wouldn't be spreading it on thick enough. So I'm just quitting for the night, and we'll get it figured out in the morning. So I'm just mixing the grass seed in with the sorghum here. That's about the only way to do it, I guess. So this should do 25 acres. We're doing aiming for 35 pounds an acre sorghum and around... 18 pounds an acre of grass seed. Good enough. Okay, we're finally planting the sorghum Sudan grass last of the year. You ever heard the saying rocks are like hitchhikers? If you don't make eye contact, you don't have to pick them up. Well, I made eye contact. Oh, I knew better. It's gonna definitely be a two hand job. Ugh. So this is the field right behind my parents' house here. So if I don't plant it right, you'll see. Oh well. So I'd be curious if there's anyone else watching this that's growing sorghum, how it did for you and your experience with it. Um, we grew it once before, but it was on a rented ground and we didn't get enough nitrogen on it, I don't think. Um, this is a home ground. This field here did absolutely phenomenal last year um, as far as um, how much corn we got off it. I wish I would have kept better track. I didn't. But it it was crazy. Like it was it, it was seven in between seven and eight ton an acre. Like it was absolutely berserk. So I mean it's obviously a good good ground here. Um, and we put a fair bit of manure on, I think 5,500 gallons an acre, something like that. And uh, if it doesn't grow good here, I don't think it'll grow good anywhere. Okay, so I did three rounds now. I'm just gonna check, see how much is in here, make sure it's not like half empty or something's going crazy, but um, just. Uh, might be about right. It's hard to tell. It's one of those things that's really hard to tell, but. Okay, so I got the little helper that is coming out to join me. Did you bring my little helper? Um, and Emily's taking baby Abby, baby Evelyn to care practice. Hey bud, how's Abby? She's good? You got your sticker? You ready to go in the tractor? That's nice you have your sticker with you. Yeah, we have it way up in the air. Huh? We're almost done seating for the year, Clyde. Oh, yeah. 
What do you have for a sticker? What is the sticker? Huh? Is it Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. All done seeding for 2024. And planting and whatever else. Done putting seeds in the ground. Well, Dad's gonna go land roll that field that I just seeded. And I am gonna go hook on the this mine, I got like 15 acres of a custom job just down the road to do. And then Monday, 20 acre field to do, so. Just enjoying the sunshine. Okay, time to go cut. Gary's over there packing somewhere in the field. And Jake's coming from the other barn with the skid steer. Tonight, I think at like six or seven, we're having a, fam a little bit of a family get together, bonfire. Um, my sister is coming up, so hopefully we'll get done by then. I think we will. jinx it but the disc bun is working extremely well all the um, fixing I did on it this spring definitely paid off and so far it's been running like a dream I made the decision to come out here and start cutting and I should have grabbed something to eat first I'm getting really hungry I am almost done just a few more passes here maybe two more but it's uh 4.30 now, and I haven't had anything to eat since breakfast, but I don't know. I'm starting to get worried if I don't uh, take better care of myself. This uh, dad bot I've worked so hard for might disappear. Just double check that everything looks okay here. Pretty good. Okay, time to go home. So I got one last thing to do. When I was wrapping, I just threw the boxes here because I was in a hurry. Just gotta clean them up. And then I'm done for the night. Just putting the wrapper under roof here. It uh it's out enough without being out during the rain. Well guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this one. Share it to your friend, hit the like button. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.